got a piece of cherry on the lathe today, a little warm up before doing some other projects. I wanted to show uh, this process of using the easy wood tools. And so um, I've already got the piece rounded over and now we're just uh, putting some shape in it using the, the finisher. This is the full size finisher from easy wood tools. It does a marvelous job. You'll see uh, throughout this whole section, uh, nice uh, shavings coming off. That carbide bit really takes some nice shavings. Just, it, there's still some roughness there on the bottom. You can see at the top up next to the chuck, there's quite a bit of roughness. I'm gonna leave a good bit of that bark. Uh, this was intended to be a hollow form, but uh, what we're gonna end up having is a, a closed form shape. So the, the wide part is gonna be down in the middle, not at the top of the bowl. I've done the shaping. You can see the general shape. I'm just using a skew to uh, sharpen up that tenon so we can flip it around and begin the hollowing process. And before we do that, I'm going to put a couple of lines here using the Easywood Detailer. This is the, the mid size. Just a couple of lines. We'll do some pyrography in, in the middle between these lines. Just getting enough uh, of a cut there so that we can burn that using a piece of Formica. This is just one of the samples that you get at the home store. You can see there it uh, it does do a good job for whatever reason i didn't the first attempt there i wasn't straight going into the the groove and so uh, once i straightened up it, it all went much easier same with this line i didn't quite get straight but we got it in the groove and once it when it's in the groove it'll it'll burn that line quite well and that one piece will last a long long time got my pyrography pen out now and we're just gonna, I've laid out some vertical lines just to give me some uh, uh, marks of, so, you know, make it nice and even all the way around. And then uh, I, I don't have anything set in mind. I'm just kind of doodling as I go. Start off doing a diagonal through here. Just uh, for me, that's just a, a good way to start. Been a little while since I did any pyrography, so I've got to get used to this pen again. can see that tip has bent over um, and as I turn the heat up it it makes that that uh, tip even softer so it, it bends even more I, I do turn it on edge and, and that seems to help but I think what I need to do is change the tip probably go to a, a ballpoint tip on here I'll turn it back down and yeah I'll have to go over my lines a little more but that's okay at least the tip won't won't uh, bend quite as easily I won't show you a whole lot of this but just want to give you the idea of, of what it takes to do these designs just takes a little time there you see the design we've got it done I've gone around there, I don't know, five, six times and just made my design and it looks a little bit like a barn door, but that's okay. I'm 
going to hit that real quick with uh, some fine sandpaper. Um, I think it's probably 320, and then I hit it again with 400 just to smooth out those lines. Any fuzzies I may have lifted, um, any edges that may have raised, but that does it, and it's back to normal. Using a little bit of alcohol here just to clean the wood, get any dust out of the pores, any uh, remaining soot that might be there from the pyrography. See, I've got the alcohol in a spray bottle. I want to change that spray bottle. It doesn't put out quite enough. Atomizes the alcohol just a little more than I like. That's been dried, and now we're going to put on some sanding sealer. This is a lacquer base sanding sealer. No sponsorship, but I do use the Deft brand. Um, I, I buy that from uh, World Paint Products, I believe is the name of it. You can find them online. All right, that's dried. Now we're going on to the X wood paste. Uh, this is the abrasive paste. The idea here is uh, get it covered real well. Um, you'll see me go back to the jar several times to get some more. I'm not getting loads of it at one time. I, I just get a little bit and then sp get it spread around. But I want the entire piece covered with this abrasive paste. And then as we spin the lathe, I'll work that in and it'll just, it'll go from the 320, 400 area where I finish sanding all the way up right around a thousand grit. So it comes out, this, this piece of cherry comes out very, very smooth. Still using that same area of the paper towel where I applied the paste onto the wood. Uh, we're gonna do that for a few minutes. Just let that that paste begin to work not only into the wood, but also allow the grit that's in there to start working. And as it works, it breaks down, gets finer and finer, uh, so we, that we work up to a thousand grit. Now that we've done that and the paper towel has become clean, I'm going to use the Axe Restoring and Polishing Paste. This is a Carnuba paste or a Carnuba wax mixture of, of paste wax. Uh, Carnuba, of course, that, that hardest natural wax that we know about. And so we're going to put that on. Not real thick. This is going to be a thin coat. I'm going to get it completely covered, but not a thick coat. Um, you, you don't need, you know, thicker is not better. Uh, just a, a thin coat. And then uh, we're going to let that sit for a couple of minutes. Uh, let it uh, uh, gas off a little and then buff it real good. Uh, we start off with very light pressure, and as uh, the wax seems to be setting, we want to, to uh, apply some more pressure uh, to heat it up, and that heat helps that carnauba to, it, it melts it into the wood, but it also, uh, once it cools after that, it sets up very hard. You can add a couple of coats of this. Uh, you, know, you, you buff it one coat to completion, let it cool for 10 or 15 minutes, come back and do another one. You see they're quite a nice shine. Didn't show into the hollowing because that's kind of a boring process. You really can't see it anyway. But you see here the finished piece. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I appreciate a, a like. And a, if you haven't already, if you'd subscribe, would appreciate that tremendously. This is Doug at Wood Spun Round. Until we get to meet again, I hope you're able to spin them round. Thank you.